Welcome Aquarius to your Who's Thinking About You weekly love tarot readings. For those of you that are new to this channel, I'd like to welcome you guys. For those of you that are returning, welcome back and thanks for your continued support. So as always, the reading here, it is going to be uh, a general tarot spread. And what this means is that it probably won't resonate with everyone who's watching. So please just take what resonates with you and leave aside what doesn't. Or perhaps you would like a personal reading with me. To do so, please feel free to inquire. I am going to list my email address for you all just at the bottom here of the video where the show more section is. Along with all the different types of readings that I offer. And you'll find that a, a personal spread will resonate with you more closely. So the reading here, it is intended for a... Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Let's take a look at the messages here that are coming for you. Okay, so who is it that's been thinking about you and what's been weighing on their mind here? Okay, enough shuffling. We do have the Devil card here, the Fool, the Five of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Two of Cups, and last one, the Seven of Cups. Okay, um, interesting. The Devil, he's suggestive of someone here who could be an ex. So this could be someone from your uh, so an ex-girlfriend, boyfriend, an ex-fling, an ex-something rather here, Aquarius. Um, it seems as though this person is definitely thinking about you, okay? But with the devil here in combination with the seven of cups, I feel like um, the devil doesn't do love. He does lust and he does temptation. So look, yes, this person is physically attracted to you. But outside of that, when it comes to being faithful in a relationship or when it comes to being faithful, faithful to this connection. I feel like this person isn't capable of that. Okay, This is um, a very flighty energy. This is someone who is a bit fickle in nature. This is someone who comes and goes as he or she pleases. And yes, they are thinking about you, but I also feel like they're thinking about... Um, they're also thinking about other people, okay? So you may be in priority, uh, sorry, you may be an option and not necessarily priority, okay? And it feels like as soon as, you know, a new choice comes along for them, well, then they're going to disrupt the flow of the connection or they have disrupted the flow of the connection with you and then they'll jump on board uh, with, you know, with this other person. Um, I feel like this person, you know, they, they want something with you, but, uh, but this coming and going, it won't, it won't stick with you because you want commitment and they just, you know, they're a love of freedom here and they want to come and go as they please here. They're resentful about something with the Five of Swords, okay? Uh, they're definitely thinking about you, but I feel like they're resentful here. Is it, have you stopped communication or have you guys parted ways or they're resentful about how they've acted towards here, towards you? Um, it seems as though maybe for you things have got a little bit uncomfortable. The Two of Cups, they do want to see you, they do want to meet you here. Be careful because with the Seven of Cups and the Five of Swords here, this person isn't necessarily who they say they are, or this person isn't who they seem they are. They may say one thing and mean another, okay? So I feel like this is someone who is, uh, they're very good at communicating or concealing uh, reality here. Uh, they're very good at manipulating you. So yeah, just be careful not to fall for, um, not to fall for the lies that this person um, says. Um, I feel like a lot of you have given this connection a go because with the Five of Swords, you know, it seems as though he's fought a battle here and his shoulders are quite slouched. So I feel like you've given this person a go, maybe even multiple goes, multiple chances, multiple second chances, and each and every time it failed. Um, this is someone who might have, you know, not committed to the connection. Maybe they weren't committed to you. Maybe they weren't loyal. Um, again, I feel like they haven't, um, they haven't changed much. So even if you guys aren't talking and this person comes back, I feel like they'll be back to their old ways from what I can see. They need to get rid of the devil and the seven of cups tells me someone he is under a lot of illusions here. Um, I also feel like they could be attached to someone else. So look, they could be thinking about you, but I also feel like they may be in a relationship with someone else and they're attached to someone else here. 
They may not for themselves though, Aquarius. This person is in this connection for themselves though. They want you, but I feel like they want you. It's more what you do for them. It's more how you make them feel and it's more, you know, what you do for them and their ego rather than anything else. It's not it's not a very give and take relationship and it's not I'm not seeing, you know, their emotions being reciprocated here. Um They are attracted to you. They are, but outside of that, I don't know that there's much more else, to be honest with you. And I feel like this person is, honestly, they're living in a fantasy world. They need to come back down to earth. They need to get real with something here. They need to get, they need to rid themselves of toxic illusions. They just, you know, they can't go around playing the field and um, expecting everyone to be okay with this. And, you know, not expecting for there to be any consequences for their actions and for their words here. They do, they are, not they do, but they are going to come in with a message here. They are going to come in with something, some information here, okay? They have been meaning to communicate, to reach out to you, um, but maybe they've just been distracted with someone else here. But I do feel like as soon as, you know, they're done having their fun with this other person, they are going to come out and uh, they're going to try and communicate with you, reach out to you. Again, it's only when it's convenient for them, right? Or it's only just... So they can keep themselves distracted from something else. Like the focus isn't on you from what I can see. They're definitely living in their fantasy world here. Um, when it comes to being faithful or fruitful, they fail majestically here, honestly. A tox either a to they're either a toxic partner or a toxic connection here. It's like they want some they still want something to do with you, but they also still want this connection that they're in. So I feel like they're attached to someone else and they want this someone else, but they also want you at the same time. How does that work? Interesting. I feel like they're being deluded. I feel like they're, you know, telling themselves uh lies here. I feel like they're Yeah, they've got their head in their clouds, definitely. Yeah, so look, with the Fool's energy here, this person will be back. They'll just, you know, want to breeze back into your life as if they've done nothing wrong, as if, you know, they don't have to take accountability for their own actions here or for their words or lack of, and they'll just try and pick up where they left off with you, but it doesn't work that way, not with you. Okay, guys, and that there is your spread. So, as always, I want to thank you all for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, by liking, commenting, or perhaps even sharing. For those of you that would like a reading with me, please feel free to inquire. I am going to list my email address for you all, just at the bottom here, where the show more section is. Otherwise, do take care, guys. Keep safe, and I will catch up with you later in the week. Bye for now.